Art on Nantucket is essential. It is embedded in our culture, painted in our history, and colored in our memories. Over the past 70 years, the Artists' Association of Nantucket has celebrated this special connection between artists, art collectors, and aspiring art students. The Artists' Association has now opened the island's first visual arts center on Amelia Drive, an educational facility where creativity will flourish, innovation will bloom, and the next generation of artists will grow. The Serene Studios will connect individuals to Nantucket, its culture, its multicultural community, its beautiful landscapes, and the special quality of its glowing light. By sharpening cognitive skills, cultivating imagination, and fostering confidence, art inspires and enriches lives. At this moment in time, we pause to remember those who had the foresight and spirit to establish AAN in 1945, ensuring that the arts will be celebrated on Nantucket in perpetuity. Emerson and Isabel Tuttle, Bobby and Polly Bouchong, Elizabeth Saltonstall, and Philip Hicken, and current members John Lochtefeld, who joined in 1969 and as Director Emeritus, helped carve the path that led to the new Visual Arts Center. Barbara Capizzo, who was celebrating her 50th year as an artist member, and George Thomas, who joined the organization in 1945 at the age of 14. The Visual Arts Center welcomes students, artists, and patrons with comfortable classrooms in which to collaborate, learn, and share their work. From a single workshop located mid-island to three levels of studios and flexible educational spaces, art offerings on Nantucket have increased for all ages. The Artists Association now has the creative home for island art students, art enthusiasts, and artists of all ages, while the Cecilia Joyce and Seward Johnson Gallery on Washington Street continues the tradition of exhibiting our artists' work and preserving historical Nantucket art.